Hey, what's up guys? Serma11 here. So, I recently watched an episode of Pokemon X and Y called Garchomp's Mega Bond, and this episode involves Professor Sycamore obtaining a Mega Stone for his Garchomp. So, within this episode, he references Alon and even has a flashback which involves Alon. So, I think this means I think I think this means Alon will be making an appearance in the main Pokemon anime sooner or later. And if you guys haven't seen my review of the first Pokemon Mega Evolution special, which I loved, go watch it. And I also thought Alon was a great character. You know, it's 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 good to get like a different person um, rather than Ash because I thought this special was really good. And in the past couple of years, we've we've had some really good animated Pokemon specials. Uh, we had Pokemon Chronicles, which was kind of like a mini series, and that that one's actually really old, but it was enjoyable. Um, for the most part, I don't think every episode was like gold, but you know, it's, it's a different perspective and I like that. Pokemon Origins was fantastic, obviously the best out of the bunch that, um, I'm talking about right now. And I was actually, I think I was one of the only YouTubers to predict a Mega Evolution, a Mega Evolved Charizard, because I saw the, the DNA or the Mega Evolution symbol within the trailer. And I say I'm probably one of the only YouTubers because that video had a lot of dislikes when it first came out. I don't know if it was just like channel hate or something like that, but, um, you know, when the, when the uh, Origin Special actually came out, I also changed the title of the video predicting, uh, you know, putting in the Mega Charizard thing and everything. And then you had people in the comments section like, oh, you were right. No duh, guys. No duh. And now we have the Pokemon Mega Evolution Specials, which have great action in them. And um, I guess it's an alright story. You know, Alon wanting to become the strongest uh, Mega Evolution trainer and all of that. Oh, and we had the animated trailers for the Pokemon games, which gave many fans false hope, but also presented uh, a better presentation of Pokemon. So, yeah, we have all that. And I want to talk about Alon, and, you know, from the title, I'm, I'm also going to be talking about Team Flair. So, now, Alon can't meet Ash in the Pokemon League unless he randomly decides to fight gym leaders so that he can fight Mega Evolutions, you know, fight more Mega Evolutions. And Alon only fights Mega Evolutions, so Ash has two Pokemon that can possibly Mega Evolve um, if he gets, like, the Mega Stones. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just Charizard and his Sceptile. And this has to happen soon or right before the League. I just figured they would let Ash get used to the Mega Stone, the Mega Evolution stuff, and use it a few times. But the Pokemon anime is starting to get closer and closer to its end, I would say. I think Ash almost has all of his badges in Japan. I mean, what else is there to do? So, perhaps Alon will be some sort of test for Ash before he gets into the Pokemon League. And I mean, Ash has to use his Charizard. Sceptile will get screwed over with ease going against, um, what is it, Mega Charizard X. And I'm guessing Ash will have the Y version of Charizard, Alon has X, but they reintroduced Charizard again in the last anime series. And why would they just redo that? And I'm telling you guys, they don't know what they're doing with the Pokemon anime. I say this all the time. Team Flare should have been introduced in the beginning, just like Team Plasma should have been introduced in the beginning with the last series. And I don't even know what happened with Team Plasma because they were supposed to have a, a special, then like an earthquake or something happens in Japan and they're like, oh yeah, we can't air these episodes. W what happened? So you just like, okay, so we can't put Team Plasma in there now. Uh, this special, this was how we were going to formally introduce Team Plasma. Yeah, we, we, we ruined it. That earthquake ruined it. I, I don't know. Japan has issues. I, I think that like if a you know, a horrible disaster occurs in real life, and then something like that happens in an anime, it's just a coincidence. It's not like, oh, we're going to have an earthquake or something in the anime, um, or was it the episodes couldn't air because of an earthquake or something like that? Oh, there's an earthquake in real life, there's an earthquake in the anime, we're obviously making fun of it. <sighs> Who cares? They're not making fun of it, and obviously, um, not obviously, but in the future, if they were to make fun of it, who People do stuff like that all the time. They make fun of, like, tragic events in the future. You probably shouldn't do it right away, though. <laughs> um, I, I think it's really bad storytelling to put, you know, Team Plasma right at the end of the uh, Black and White series. And um, without having Team Flair in the Pokemon anime, it makes it seem like Kalos is peaceful, but it's really not. 
So, Ash has some Pokemon that could evolve and be ready for Mega Evolution. I mean, Ash's Gumi evolved really fast, and Don Swinub did too. I think these Pokemon were fully evolved within a few episodes, so they could reintroduce some of his Pokemon, have him hang out with them for a little bit. Oh, they, they've evolved two stages suddenly, and then um, they have a Mega Evolution. You know, they could do this, but I'm still going with Charizard. I think they may take the Pokemon leak to the next level and you know improve black and white's lackluster league maybe give more trainers mega evolutions so that kind of ties in with the little thought about maybe Alon might fight some gym leaders and actually you know do more stuff and maybe a lot more people will have mega evolutions in the league but i doubt it my second point is concerning the the pokemon mega evolution special two yeah i think it was two but i think the leader of Team Flare was also mentioned in the first one, something like that. So since they have confirmed that these two uh, entities, entities or whatever, um, the the main Pokemon anime and the spinoff, they're in the same universe. Um, Team Flare is about they're they're around somewhere at least, and they showed the leader in the second part of the Mega Evolution special. And again, they might be shown at the end of the anime or uh, close to the end, like um, Alon might be. And Team Flare is important, but they're not super important because they really could be introduced after the second, the not the second, but the seventh badge, and it wouldn't be that bad. Heck, this Mega Evolution special could develop them more. I wouldn't mind if Alon was fighting them and maybe Ash saw some of them too and that's how they met. It's just I want them to be introduced. I want them to be a part of the anime, and I don't think they can become a big part of the anime at this point, but... Again, Team Flare, um, they really became active after the 7th badge, if you actually played the video games and everything. And this is where the true meat of the story for the team is anyway. And um, Or maybe we'll get a bad season like Black and White quickly developing them at the end of the anime, after the league. And I will continue to say this. There's so much they could do with Pokemon. They don't know their potential. Like, in the next generation, go all the way with the fusions introduced in Generation 5. Um, more side series focused on focusing on characters like Alon. Follow the games more like the main Pokemon... Or, or follow the, the games more in the main Pokemon anime. Because, really, there's no need to, for filler or anything like that. Maybe a few fillers, but, like, they, they have enough content where they can make every episode canon. Or do the Pokemon Origins special in full for every generation. I, I think people would really love that. I think that's a fantastic idea. Or adapt the Pokemon Adventures manga into an anime. Or do a more serious Pokemon series. There's so much they could do. Like, I want them to do all of this. And I don't care if they do it all at once. Because I think these are all great ideas. There's just so much. I, I would love for like someone from the Pokemon company to see this video. So, there's also another Pokemon Mega Evolution special coming out in Japan of Fall 2015. And I'm sure we'll be getting the third episode soon because that one that's coming out in Japan is Part 4. So, just a quick update. I've been out of town, so yeah, no Naruto review. I may try to catch up this week with the review because I wanted to review last week's chapter because I, I enjoyed that one. And I checked out some uh, recent videos, and it's just like one dislike going down for a few videos. And now, I did get some hate a few months ago from a group of YouTubers, but I think this may be people um, I'm trolling in comments, and I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that. I, I'm really... It's really stupid to troll people on the on the channel you use for videos, but whatever. I think it's kind of childish to go after someone's channel, but whatever. I guess that's whatever makes you feel better about the situation. It is my fault. <laughs> it, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to make a second channel just to have fun in the comments section. Sometimes I like to have fun online. It, it's not me being serious, so... I don't know. Maybe someone from the comments will watch that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. My social media is below... And I am out. Peace.